you to uh, watch my debut. Well, I wouldn't miss it for the world, Wesley. Set's warming up now, sitting here with bells on. Well, why does that sound unfriendly? I mean, I was hoping that the two of us could bury the hatchet. Where? No hard feelings, huh? All right, that's good. Now, would you do me a favor? Uh, would, you, would you call me after the broadcast? Or I could call you, you know, either way. I, I want your input, output, whatever. I, I want an opinion from an old pro and uh, maybe a few pointers. Sure, Wes. I'll be glad to tell you what I think of you. You're a prince, Jack. Um, do you... All right, look, is there, is there anything that, you, that you'd like to say to me before I go? Or I have to go? I mean, words uh, of wisdom or some such? Just remember, when the uh, little red light goes on, you're on TV. Red light. Right. Okay, thanks, Jack. Hey, wish me luck, huh? Bye-bye. <laughs> Jillian, good evening, and thank you for coming to be Wes's first guest. Oh, I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> uh, you've met Doug, haven't you? Yes, we met at Frank Ryan's office. Doug Waterman, yes? Right. Right. See you again. I would like you both to meet Tom Jones. He's our station manager yes, and really yes. runs the place. All right, Tom Waterman, I want to tell you that I am already uh, a voter for you. Oh, oh that's what we'd you. like to hear. <laughs> Wes? Our uh, guest is here. Good evening. I'm... Uh, Where's Leonard? <laughs> oh, Jillian, it's so, so fine of you to come. I'm delighted. You've, uh, you've done this a lot, have you? Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Uh, you, you have met that. Yeah, hi, how are you? This is uh, Marty Sargent. She's oh. our stage manager. Oh, She'll be giving Marty. you the signals. Yeah, Marty, Marty calls the signals. Uh -huh. yeah, nothing to worry about. Is your throat a little dry? No, oh. I'm fine. Oh, uh, well, I, I just had a cough drop. Would you like one? Swell up. Sure. <laughs> You two have uh, gone over the general tone of the interview. Uh, oh, pretty much. Oh, yes, yeah, sure we have. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of questions. I have them right here. On my cards. Uh, has anyone seen my cards? Uh, oh, of course we could wing it. Hey, if we had to, no problem. But since I've got the cards, we don't have to. Thanks so much, Marty. Five minutes, take your places, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, over here, sure. okay? So we stick to uh, local issues since it's a, a local station <laughs> and uh, also covers the entire metropolitan area. Well, uh, whatever you say, you ask and uh, I'll answer. Oh, there is one topic that's off limits. Huh? Charlotte Greer and Frank Ryan. So, tell me about Charlotte Greer, also known as Charlotte O'Neill. Why not just accept it gracefully? Especially since I do 
wish so very much that it were mine. You lose Kirkland because of me, so you see to it that I lose the nomination. It figures. Hmm. There does. Unfortunately, it's not true. But... Was there something else? Yeah. Huh. What do you know about a man by the name of Raymond LeClerc? What's the matter? I try not to think about all of that too much. Raymond LeClerc is dead. So I heard. Is it true he committed suicide? Yes, I'm afraid so. What do you know about his brother? David. Mm -hmm. Not much, really. Very uh, shadowy figure. Rich. Very, very powerful. I've been told he hates me. Because I fought like hell to clear my name from the scandal that was set up for me. And in the process, his brother Raymond's name got muddied. Blames me for his brother's suicide. Is that the way you understand it? Heard something like that? Yes, as I said, I try not to know too much about all of that because he might hold me responsible as well. Oh, I see. So in other words, you and I killed Raymond together. Both of us. Is that what he believes? It's possible. Well, here's another possibility. David LeClerc has something on you. Me? Like what? Who knows? But maybe he does. And maybe he used it to extract certain information from you to use against me. Certain intimate details, Ryan family lore you got when you and I were planning a future together. Oh, that's right. Our future, Frank. Well, it's a very interesting theory, but I'm afraid it doesn't wash. We'll see. Right. A bit of advice. If you are planning to approach Leclerc, be careful. The man is not only rich and powerful, he's frightening. Right. Thanks a lot. 